and now we're gonna see analysis of examination results using nested control statements so right now we're gonna create a new file we're gonna go right here new folder and we're gonna name it test we're gonna right click and then open in terminal so we can type in code space that we can open it with visual studio code and right now we're only gonna have just one file and we are gonna name it analysis like that that java okay so we have analysis that java and pretty much we have the analysis of examination results using nested control statements we're gonna we're gonna have the scanner so we need to import it first so we're gonna have java that well import java that util that scanner util that scanner semicolon at the end okay so we have that so far um, we are gonna have the name of this class so pretty much the name is gonna be as the name of the file so it's gonna be public class and the name is gonna be analysis and make sure that you have the first letter as an uppercase letter so analysis okay and then we're gonna have the curly braces like that and here we only have one one file so here we're gonna have this the second one the public state boy main okay so we don't need two files we only have one file here and right now we're gonna create a scanner to obtain input from the command window so we have this variable name name input and is of type scanner okay so no scanner like that we have the the system that in okay semicolon at semicolon at the end okay so here we have this new scanner and we are assigning it to this variable name input that is of type scanner and we do that in order to input information from the user and to do that we have to import it first we have imported here in line nine in line one okay so input let me see resource quick fix uh, remove input uh, okay never mind that okay so create a scanner to obtain inf input from the command window we have mm, let me see we are gonna now initialize the variables okay so we are gonna have the variable pass the value the variable failure and the variable is to encounter okay so and it's gonna be of type integer okay integer and it's gonna be passes okay we're gonna initialize it to zero okay this is gonna be the number of passes how many students have passed the grade then we're gonna have how many students have failed the grade so it's gonna be failures like that uh, we're gonna initialize it to zero as well and then we're gonna have the number of student counter okay and this is gonna be the student counter and this time we're gonna initialize it not to zero but to one we can save it right now we can close this one okay let me see now we're gonna use the while loop so we're gonna process 10 students using the counter the counter control loop okay so we're gonna go right here we're gonna have while Okay, while the student counter, so while the student counter is less than or equal to 10, like that, we are gonna do something, okay, like that. And that something is we're gonna prompt the user for input and obtain value from the user, okay? So we're gonna have the system, this one, the system that out that print LM 
and since we only have the a string we just we can just leave it like print okay and we are gonna have enter okay enter result like this we're gonna open parentheses one is gonna be set to pass and two is gonna be set to fail like this like this okay so we can leave it like that semicolon at the end okay that's fine and then we are gonna have this result uh, yeah, result okay and uh, we're gonna use the the object inputs method that is the next integer okay and this one this is a method of the a scanner object okay and um, this whole information or we are gonna assign it or this whole result we're gonna assign it to this variable result okay okay we can leave it like that and let me see let me see something we have oh yeah i haven't this is an integer as well i haven't declared it here and we can set it to this is the result so we can just leave it like that we we don't have to initialize it so this is the one exam results of staying the value from user and semicolon at the end as well okay so now we're gonna have the if else so if else is nested in the while statement so here we have if if something okay if something then we are gonna do something like that and the if so if the result if the result is equal to one if the result is equal to one if the result is equal to one then we're gonna have the path okay passes and this is gonna be set to the passes plus one or you can type it like passes and then the assignment operator that is equal sign and then the plus sign and then it will be just well it's pretty much the same okay so if you prefer to do it this way that's fine you can just leave it like that semicolon at the end okay if the result is one that's fine and now we're gonna go with uh yeah let me see if the result is equal to one then passes is gonna be set to passes plus one so and passes is initialized to zero so we will have zero plus one is gonna get us one else like that else um we are gonna have the failure so and let me see failures and it's gonna be set to uh, we can leave it like that failures plus one or just if you prefer it this way it's gonna be failures plus one that is the same and you can omit the curly braces if you want okay so here we have pretty much we are incrementing the passes and here we are incrementing the failures and passes and failures are variables of type integer as well as student and result are variables of type integer student count i mean student counter has been initialized to one but result hasn't been initialized okay so we have we have this class analysis we have the main method inside of the main method we have the scanner we have the scanner input and we have the while loop inside of the while loop we have the if else statement let me see what else do we have here outside of the if else statement but still inside of the while loop we are going to use now this variable student counter so 
we are going to increment student counter so loop eventually terminates so it's going to be a student counter it's going to be set to a student counter plus one or you can just put a student counter plus one semicolon at the end and this would be the end of the while loop okay so we have that so far so let's see how is how is looking our project okay so let me see enter the result one pass and two failures so one pass two pass okay nothing is happening okay we have that so far now we are gonna go outside of the while loop so this is the okay this is the while loop here and now we're gonna have the termination phase and that is the system that is gonna be the system that out that print lem and let me see in this case we're gonna have uh, we're gonna use we're gonna use the variables passes and failures so we need the print that f okay so we're gonna have three arguments that is going to be the strings is going to be a second argument and a third argument so let's start with the first argument we are going to have past okay it's going to be like that past and we are going to use the the percent the percent sign lowercase letter d for a for a decimal then we're going to use to the next line next line failed okay colon then percent sign lowercase letter d or decimal and then to the next line um okay so pretty much we have pass and then we are gonna have the number in this case we are gonna have as passes okay and then we're gonna have back backslash lowercase letter m so we're gonna have fail colon space the percent sign lowercase letter d that is gonna be assigned to the failures like that failures okay we can save it so, so far and let's see how it's doing okay so enter result one pass and two fail okay one uh, two one two nothing is happening yet okay so now what we need to do is determine whether more than 10 students pass okay we can go here and pretty much have an if statement so we have an if statement and have passes and it has to be greater than 10 like that and here we are gonna have the system System that out that print lm. Okay, so uh, let me see. No, if more than if more than nine students pass, excellent, excellent. Okay, we can have it like that. So let me see. What do we have here? Um, let me check out something real quick so we have this public class analysis so we have the public static boy then we have the scanner no scanner Oops. no scanner system.m okay we have the passes failures student counter then we have the result student counter is greater than or 10 okay let me see enter result one passes result okay result input that input that next integer then we have if the result is equal to one then we have the passes it's gonna be assigned to the passes plus one else failures we can just take that out like that let me see and then we're gonna have the student counter is gonna be a student counter plus one this is the end and let me see format System that out that printf failure, so let's do it and enter result 9, enter result 
10 and the result 8 and the result 10 and the result 3 um, and the result uh, 10 and the result uh, oops I I should have type negative 1 but it's gonna be up to 10 so I mess up 22 33 okay pass 10 fail 10 okay so close it and we can do it again okay so let me see let me see we're gonna have one 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 and then for the fail it's gonna be two two until 10 10 grades okay two okay so pass seven and three have failed and let me see if we have greater than nine passes okay it's gonna be excellent so we're gonna have one, one oops we're gonna do it again and this time we are gonna have one 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 okay excellent okay so let me see if less let's change it if less than I don't know uh, less than eight uh, danger I don't know we can put like that danger or something like that and let's see this time we're gonna put in two 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 one uh, two and one okay two pass and eight fail danger okay so this is pretty much the analysis examination of results using the nested control statements